Hey guys, Corey and David here. A uh, special edition of Zap Talk. I know, um, you know we use it as a weekly thing, but we're going to start doing uh, book reviews and some news and stuff like that to switch it up a little bit. So we do everything, Corey. That's right. Um, it's like Corey Brown. Rick Remender, who everybody loves. He's probably um, one of my favorite writers right now. Mostly because of his run on X-Force, which is phenomenal. It's available as an omnibus right now. And I think all the volumes are out. So I would definitely check out X-Force. I think about Uncanny X-Force. Uncanny X-Force. Volume 2? Yes. Check Great. Out. Awesome. And he's currently writing Uncanny Avengers. Which actually comes from that Uncanny X-Force. Same okay. plot, kind of. But he's also in that independent field. So yes. he does have a, a handful of image books right now. But the one of the most popular ones, and Dave's actually, this is literally his favorite book on the shelf. Right this now. is my favorite book on that shelf. And that is uh, Black Science. Um, Rick Amanda writes it, you know, Beautiful Art by Matteo Scalera, and the Colors by Dean White. Well, if you're familiar with Dean White, he uh, colored all the kick-ass books, which is really cool. It's been around for a while, but... Um, what a love with image. Most of the books are... Volume 1s are nine ninety nine. dollars Can't beat that. This sells, like, you got, like, Walking Dead, Saga... East to West and Black Science is right behind it. It sells really, really well. Every week we have to reward these things because it's an easy pick up. People buy it and they're hooked. It's awesome. awesome. Uh, it's on issue, I think, eight, nine, eight or nine now. Yeah. Yep. You know, this collects the first six. It's, I like it's, like, it's like pulpy, right? It's like it's, it's a, like an old EC comic. It's a space adventure with a Rick Remender feel where nobody's safe. You don't know what's going to happen next. And... Um, it's just it's an all-out adventure, and the balls are to the wall. Now, would you what would you compare this to anything today on the shelves besides like I don't obviously some people know what EC is. I do because EC it was back in the fifties, but like it goes you, back to those old pulp comics. Anytime you see a guy with a little laser gun looking distressed, and maybe a lady's like ah, and you see something behind them, it's like that, but it has a whole new feel. Anything that they give Rick Remender feels like an Elseworld comic when it's in the Marvel Universe, just because he messes things up so much, makes it so messy to build his stories, to bring everything to an end point, that um, it kind of has to be like that. So when you give him his own universe like this, it's just, it's awesome. I know Don and I, another Zap Comics employee here, we were talking about uh, his Uncanny X-Force and how it almost feels like what the Ultimate Universe should be, because the Ultimate Universe is gone. That's just how he writes, and... That's why this book and his writing kind of has stood out because there really isn't anything like it right now. That's no, no, it's uh, it's very unique looking. Mm -hmm. When it, back in the day, this was actually very common looking, so it's kind of cool. It stands out, but in a good way. And I think we sell tons of it. You know, it's cool. It's a really cool name, Black Science. You know, the covers are amazing. Science is neat. And, uh, did they did they ever come to Earth? Did they always bounce around in space? Or? Well, it starts in Earth. So the plot is that they've created this device that will allow them to travel between dimensions. And they're traveling, he's um, our hero, Grant, his mistress, and his two children, and also some other people, the team there, and somebody has sabotaged this uh, journey. So they are stuck traveling from dimension to dimension. Some may be very normal, some may be out of control with like ghost apes. And another reminder thing, it may sound ridiculous, but once you read it, it all makes sense, and it's totally worth it. So pick it up. Uh, you can find it anywhere, but hopefully you buy it at Zap Comics. Black Science Volume 1, only 10 bucks from Image, and of course, your commander. Uh, it's, always, it's usually one of Dave's picks. Every time it comes out, it'll be Dave's pick, because he it loves his book so much. Just come to me. I'll be picking it. <laughs> so you can find again. We're at Zap Comics, Dave and Corey, the commander and Black Science. See you guys. Buy it already. How's that for an endorsement? Works for me. I just bought it. I think it's home with me. Thanks, Dave. Commerce is incredible these days. Technology. Goodbye. Hey, guys. Oh, my God. It's closed right now. You look so pissed. That's very fun. I know. Because you're going to make me look so pissed. Yeah, ponytail, though. And you know what that means? <laughs> you know it's kung fu. That's why you have a ponytail. Okay.